Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Scott from the Nerds with Attitude podcast, coming at you with a new toy review. In fact, it's so new, it's not even supposed to be out yet, but I won't tell if you don't. So anyway, without further ado, I am going to review this little beauty. It's the U-Wing Fighter from Star Wars Rogue One. Stay tuned. <laughs> So I was cruising through the old Barnes & Noble the other day, and I came across this guy sitting on the shelf. And I got pretty excited because it was a sale going on that day, 20% off for members. So hey, it's a uh, $30 vehicle that's priced at $50. As you can see, there's a price tag. I think it's upside down. Price tag, $50. Nope, it was right side up. $50 for a $30 vehicle, and I only paid $40 for it. So... Yay me, I suppose. Anyway, uh, box art is pretty cool. It's got the new Death Troopers up here on top. It comes with a Cassian Andor figure. And uh, one thing I'm not too certain I'm hip on is that if you look very closely right here, you will see a Nerf logo. So yes, the Ewing Fighter shirts ner shoots Nerf darts. Not sure how I feel about that. Anyway, we've got some side art here. You've got Cassian Andor looking all tough with his blaster pole. Uh, there is an advertisement on the other side of the box for an app. And this app, uh, you download the Hasbro Star Wars Studio FX app to make videos with your toys. So you bet your ass that's going to be happening sometime soon. Um, okay, and on the back... It's got the product picture with uh, some of the features it has, plus the action figure. And it reads, Rebel U-Wing Fighter, a sturdy troop transport and gunship used by the Rebel Alliance. The U-Wing Starfighter is a well-armed swing-wing vesicle, vesicle, ugh, vessel that must penetrate heavy fire zones to deposit soldiers onto battlefields and then fly air support during dangerous missions against the Empire. Very cool. Now, why this troop transport only holds one figure is due to Hasbro and their cheapness. So, yeah, anyway, that's it. It is a troop transport carrier vehicle that carries one figure. One troop. The pilot. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up, shall we? This one I'll be a little bit more delicate with instead of the like I did with the Ahsoka where I just tore her open. There we go. And I'm assuming this is going to be a short video because these vehicles these days they don't really require much work. Uh, Jesus Christ there's a lot of tape on there. Okay. Maybe it'll be a little maybe there'll be a little more work than I anticipated. Uh, okay, here we go. There is our Cassian Andor figure. Very cool. He has five points of articulation because Hasbro hates us, so I'm going to set that to one side. A uh, whole lot of tape on there. That should be fun. And then on the other side, we have the vehicle itself. It's upside down. I keep showing you things upside down. My apologies. Anyway, there we go. Let's take this sucker out. All right. Oh, unboxing videos. Uh, sorry. Not my favorite thing in the world to do, but I figured I had this thing and I had it early, so I might as well. When in Rome, they say. Okay. Let's see if I can... Jesus. Okay, so this tape. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so the vehicle pops right out pretty easily. We've got some instructions right behind there. Oh, cool. This little guy right here where you can download the app. In the, it is available in the App Store from Apple and the Android App Store for Google. I'm an app guy, or an Apple guy, so I don't know what that really means for the other store. But anyway, there's some instructions here. Uh, quick assembly, and uh, let's put it together, see what happens. Pull these engine doodads out. Okay. Alright, 
right, so we've got four engine nacelles. And ooh, look at this, we've got some Nerf darts. Yay, can't wait to shoot things with the Nerf darts. And tear that up right there. Got some really long wings. Now one of the reasons I was really interested in getting this vehicle is because it kind of, the look of it on the box art and everything I've seen so far, it really reminds me of the old Buck Rogers starships from the 1980s. I love those ships. I really wish somebody would remake, eh, kind of wish somebody would remake that show. I'm sure, I'm sure it doesn't quite hold up, but they'd probably go all incredibly dark like they did with Battlestar Galactica. Not that that's a bad thing, but anyway, I digress. Here we have two wings, four weapon nacelles. Ooh, these two have landing gears, so, okay, cool, we know those go on the bottom. And a couple of bright red Nerf darts. Eh. Nerf dart, Nerf dart, okay. Can only hold one figure, but you get two Nerf darts, so hey, there you go. I guess you're trading up. Um, remove the plastic protective shield there. That's cool, yep, <laughs> sure as shit, you get... Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so check it. You get room for one figure in there, and it comes with the seat belt, but you can't really see the seat belt very well, or maybe you can. It's a rubber band, They're like a hair tie. My wife has tons of those lying around, so if it ever breaks, I'll know what I can replace it with. Oh, Hasbro. So, all right. Let's figure out how to put this thing together, shall we? Step one, assembly, put the, put the engines on. Okay, there you go, put the engines on. It doesn't even say that, it says assembly. One, two, three. They forgot sometime, somewhere along the lines, people forgot that words actually help. So, okay, that goes on there. That one goes on there. Well, what do you know, maybe words aren't necessary whenever your toys are cheap and easy to put together. Wait a minute, yep, I'm doing it right. Okay, go, we've got the little landing gear right here on the bottom. Neat. This one right here. All right, there we go, snaps into place, nice. Uh, step two, put the wings on. No, wait, step two is the second set of engines. Step three is put the wings on, so let's Hopefully I'm putting the wings on the right way because it doesn't really say, oh, okay, this little nub right here, this little guy goes towards the inside of the vehicle. That's how you know you're putting it on right. Um, oh, okay, cool. This little doodad right here, this little switch, makes these two connectors that hold the wings go in and out forward and backward actually. Okay, so kind of find your midway point and then you can snap the wing in there. Now of course because it is current Hasbro stuff the wings are very pliable. It's very rubbery plastic, very lightweight. And then the second one goes right here. I don't know if this thing was worth $30 I paid for it, but it looks really cool so hey, why not? Okay, and um, that's it. There you go. That's the vehicle. Kind of looks like the Buck Rogers vehicle right there. And then you flip the switch forward. It swings the wings back. And it takes on this really cool... Okay, this is kind of a cool vehicle. Come to think of it, I'm all bagging on it because it's cheaply made. But it's a pretty cool vehicle in itself. Might take a paintbrush to it and do some weathering because... It looks a little too pristine to exist in the Star Wars universe, especially if it's a ramshackle vehicle that's kind of put together with pieces of other vehicles. Um, that is very cool. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really incredibly excited for this movie. I'm hoping it lives up to my expectations. The Force Awakens did. Um, but anyway, here's the bottom of the vehicle right here. You've got the four landing gear. I've got one right here here. If you notice, I have yet to pull out the Nerf gun. Uh, one landing gear here and one landing gear here. Now the way these look, 
the one the ones in the rear right here you would think that those are pointed the wrong direction but no I did put it together properly um, they just look backwards so there you go it sits pretty nicely there good old Cassian Andor say old Cassian Andor I mean I've never seen him before so I guess he's not that old um, I'm old shit he's younger than I am anyway um, he does, okay, there's the figure right there. He comes with a little blaster right here. The blaster does secure inside of his holster. I say secure. Oh, there we go. Okay, it does kind of secure in there. And there you go. Cassian Andor. Not too bad for a uh, vehicle pilot. His uh, paint apps are pretty cool. He's got the little blood stripes down his shoulder, down his ar sleeves right there. He's got some pretty good paint on his face. Not bad. They even painted his belt buckle. Seemed to pay more attention to him than they did to some of the Force Awakens figures. Um, again, five points of articulation. He's got the hips. Pretty stiff right there. So his hips, his arms, and his head. Yep. It's not even a ball joint for his head, though, so he can't look up or down. Just He can just say yes a lot, and that's it. Um, he's a yes man. So anyway, let's go ahead and shove his ass into the fighter and see what happens. So I'm going to lift up the little rubber band seat belt here. Stick him in there. All right. Now he can fly side by side with his co-pilot, Jen Ursh. Oh, wait, no, he can't because nothing else can fucking fit inside of this thing. Anyway, close that up. And there you go. Overall, aside from the size, uh, it's really cool. It's a cool looking vehicle. It's got some pretty good detail on it. Um, they still need to do a little bit more work on their paint apps. It's just kind of a flat color. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of uh, wash to it and it will add some special wear and tear that's specific to the Star Wars universe on it. Um, okay, now, God help us, let's check out this here Nerf gun. Um, okay, to fire, the instructions say, to fire, right here, you've got the switch that operates the wings, and then right here, this little button here, you push it, and it, it releases the it releases the cracking. It releases the gun, I guess. Yeah, my finger was in the way, so it kind of blunted it, but there we go. There's a giant penis gun on the bottom of the ship, so let's go ahead and load it up here. I'm gonna shoot my eye out with this thing and just know it. Um, okay. I guess it's in there. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That fire's pretty <laughs> I was not expecting that, but no, it's it's got some it's got some power to it. Okay. So you put the dart inside the hole right there. Kinda dirty. And it Locks, this locks it into place, it kind of pushes it down, and I am not going to shoot it at my phone because I don't need another crack. But then you, again, push the button right here that releases the gun from the bottom, and uh, I'm shoot the little poster that's behind the screen. Here. Jeez, it take your eye out with that thing. So, again, dart. And I was wrong, you can only put one dart in at a time. Dart locks into place like so, and fire. Oh, gee, it almost hit me in the head that time. Anyway, it's pretty cool. And to lock it back into place, just push the gun back up in, and it locks right back into place. Overall, not bad. It's pretty cool. Size is my only complaint about it, really. Otherwise, I can't wait to hang it up in the toy room, along with all the other vehicles I've got hanging from there. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that is the Star Wars Rogue One Ewing Fighter with Cassian Andor and his hair tie seat belt. Uh, yeah, that's it. Give us a like. Tell us what you think. If you uh, Do you think I wasted my money on this thing? I don't think so. You know, for what we're paying nowadays for vehicles, it, uh, I think this is pretty solid other than being incredibly flimsy and there's a rubber band hair tie in there and 
It's about a quarter of the size it should be, but I'm actually kind of impressed with the Nerf gun, the power of the Nerf gun. I just kind of want to chase my wife around the house and shoot her with it. No, don't tell her I said that. <sighs> anyway, that's it. I hope you like it. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, uh, check out the latest episode of the podcast. I believe it's posting pretty soon. The guys went to NerdBotCon and had a great time. I couldn't be there, unfortunately, but our pal David filled in nicely for me. Um, don't like him too much, though, because I'm coming back. He can't have my spot. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Keep it nerdy, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you later.